Hi. Uh, my name is Alora Sparnicht, and my classic poem is Sestina Like by A.E. Stallings, with a nod to Jonah Winter. Now we're all friends. There is no love but like. A semi-demi goddess, something like a reality TV star lookalike named Simile or Me Too. So we like in order to be liked. It isn't like there's love or hate now. Even plain dislike is frowned on. There's no button for it. Like is something you can quantify. Each like you gathers almost something money-like, token of virtual support. Please like this page to stamp out hunger. And you'd like to end hunger and climate change alike, but it's unlikely like does diddly. Like just twiddles its unopposing thumbs up. Likewise props up scarecrow silences. I'm like so over him, I overhear. But like, he doesn't get it. Like, you know, he's like, it's all okay. Like, I don't even like him anymore. Whatever, I'm all like. Take like out of our chat, we'd all alike flounder, agape, gesticulating like a foreign film sans subtitles, fall like dumb phones to muted desitude. Unlike with other fillers, um, when we use like, we're not just buying time on credit. Like displaces other words, crowds cuckoo-like endangered hatchlings from the nest. Click like if you're against extinction. Like is like invasive zebra mussels, or like those nutria things, or kudzu, or be like redundant fast food franchises, each like more like the next. Those poets who dislike inversions, archaisms, who just like plain English as she spoke. Why isn't like their literally every other word? I like us just to admit that's what real speech is like. But as you like, my friend, yes, we're alike. How we pronounce, say, liken and dislike, cancer and war. So like this page. Click like. <laughs> And this is my response, drama queens. <laughs> when we are young, we learn that every story starts with a problem. A villain, a traitor, a curse, a dead mom if it's a Disney movie. <laughs> Stories need conflict, and it seems like real life is the same way. We don't like drama. We love it. We bury our snouts in the dirt and hunt for drama like truffle hogs. We know gossiping is wrong, so we spill the tea instead. We feel important when our friends tell us about all the people who have wronged them. We have an actual verb for watching someone else's car crash. Rubberneck as in crane your neck, as in take your eyes off the road, as in get rear-ended, as in back up the freeway for miles. We live our lives in metaphorical bathtubs, and when the water gets cold and the bubbles fizzle out, we pull the plug so we can watch the sudsy water circle the drain around and around and around faster and faster and faster until it's gone, until we're lost, Somewhere in the pipes, covered in sewage and spit and wet clumps of hair, wondering where we went wrong. Mm. But think about it. You defuse a bomb by snipping a wire, not chucking it down the garbage disposal. When a toddler is having a tantrum, you hand them another toy and they move on. When someone is mad at you, you give them space because sometimes People just need space. We think that we need to slay conflict with a jewel-encrusted sword, or strap it with TNT, or hand it a chalice of poisoned wine. But here's the thing. Conflict isn't
isn't an evil dragon, or a corrupt queen, or a wizard, or a troll. Conflict is a cranky, colicky little baby. Uh, past his bedtime with a stomach ache. All you have to do is wrap them in a blanket, hold them in your arms, and pat him on the back until he burps. Or toots. Oh. Thank you.